Hello, and welcome to the program. On August 5th, for the Statue of Liberty is laid on Bedloe's Island. On December 5th, the Washington Monument is completed in Washington, D.C., becoming the tallest structure in the world at this date. And now on to the sports of the day. In American college football, the Yale Bulldogs are the college football national champions. In Canadian football, the Canadian Rugby Football Union, the forerunner of the Canadian Football League, is established. On to association football. In the English FA Cup Final, Blackburn Rovers defeat Queen's Park 2-1 at the Oval. At the Scottish Cup Final, Queen's Park win by a walkover after Vale of Levin failed to appear. In baseball in the National League, Ned Williamson of the Chicago White Stockings hits 27 home runs, beating Buck Ewing's 10 home run record set in 1883. Charles Radburn of the Providence Gray threw 441 strikeouts, beating Tim Keffey's 361 strikeout record from 1883. In Association Baseball, John Riley of the Cincinnati Red Stockings hit 11 home runs, and Guy Hecker of Louisville Eclipse threw 385 strikeouts. In the inaugural National League vs. American Association fixture, sometimes called the original World Series, the Providence Grays of the National League defeat the New York Metropolitans of the American Association three games to nil. In cricket, at the Ashes, an Australian team tours England but loses the three-match test series one to nil with two matches drawn. In golf, the British Open is won by Jack Simpson. In home nations rugby, the second series is won by England. In ice hockey, on February 11th, the Montreal Victorias defeat the Ottawa Hockey Club 1-0 to, to win the second Montreal Winter Carnival Ice Hockey Tournament. In tennis, at Wimbledon's men's, William Renshaw defeats Herbert Lawthor 6-0, 6-4, 9-7. At Wimbledon's Women's Singles Championship, Maud Watson defeats Lillian Watson 6-8, 6-3, and a second 6-3 match. In the U.S., American Men's Single Championship, Richard D. Sears defeats Howard A. Taylor 6-0, 1-6, 6-0 again, and finally 6-2. And now to the horse racing section. Malu wins the Melbourne Cup, Williams wins the Queen's Plate, and Ireland, the gift in its second successive win, wins the Irish Grand National. In England, the Derby ends in a dead heat between Harvester and St. Gatian. The Grand National is won by Voluptuary. Busybody wins the Oaks. The St. Ledger Stakes is won by the Lampkin. Busybody wins the Thousand Guinea Stakes. And the Two Thousand Guinea Stakes is won by Scott Free. In the U.S., the Belmont Stakes is won by Pan Queen. The Kentucky Derby is won by Buchanan. And the Preakness Stakes is won by the Knight of Ellisry. That completes the program. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.